day 18. Seven more sleeps till Christmas. At first, the Magi, or wise men, went to Jerusalem because, they, well, a new baby king is going to be at the palace. So they went to the palace, Herod's palace in Jerusalem. Herod knew nothing about a new baby, about a new baby king. And he was scared and angry to think that there might be a new baby king. Herod's men said that God's promised king would be born in Bethlehem. That's what God had told his people a long time before. So, today I thought we would make a nice little treat that you might want to give some to somebody. It's really, really simple. These are some of the things that you'll need. Some chocolate, whatever kind of chocolate you like. Some marshmallows, the big ones, if you can get them. Some decorations that you might put on top of cakes, like sprinkles or whatever you want to use, really. And that's about it, really. And... First thing you need to do is to melt the chocolate. You'll need a grown-up to help you with that. You can melt it in the microwave if you want to, or you can melt it above a pan of boiling water, but make sure that a, a grown-up helps you. Once it's melted, get a teaspoon and put about half a teaspoon or so of the melted chocolate into a little cake case, if you've got any, or just put it onto a baking sheet or some greaseproof paper. Before the chocolate starts to set, get one of the marshmallows and push the marshmallow down. Not too hard, but just push it down so the chocolate be starts to squidge out at the sides of the marshmallow a little bit. Then get another tiny little bit of chocolate and drizzle it on top of the marshmallow and then put some of your toppings, your decorations on top, whatever you'd like to put on top. So it might be chocolate buttons or sprinkles or whatever. You can see some examples of what I've put on on these pictures. Oh, who took the photos of me licking the spoon? Oh, I bet that was Jeremy. But make sure you don't waste any chocolate, won't you? Oh yes, you have to leave them somewhere cool so that the chocolate can set then. Once the chocolate has set, you should be able to easily peel them off your baking sheet or greaseproof paper or whatever you've put them on. And then you could put a few into a bag or into a container or something like that and you could give them to somebody as a gift if you wanted to. Just make sure you share, don't eat them all yourselves, okay? I hope you have a go at that because it's really, really simple and they are yummy. Okay, enjoy. Bye.